everyone and welcome. You're watching Midland Public Library's STEAM Stories. My name is Jennifer Whip, and I'm the Maker Place Coordinator here at MPL. Today, we're investigating the A in STEAM, which stands for art. We're gonna read a story about how a dot became a beautiful work of art, and then we're gonna use what we learn to make our own wonderful artwork. Let's jump right in. Our art story for today is called The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. The teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper towards Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can write my name. The next week when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow. She discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite the splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew the line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle. And then she said, Please sign it. The end. Time to get started on our dot art. So if we check our you will need sheet for today, Thursday, art, doodles and dots, we need a glue stick, check, markers, pencil, crayon, whatever, um, <laughs> any kind of writing tool, you can use paint, whatever you want for this, whatever you have at home, grab that. Uh, you're also gonna want a pair of scissors, which we have, and you might want a pencil and eraser. So go ahead, round up your materials, and we'll get started. Now that you have everything you need, let's grab our Thursday art um, little packet out of our Take and Make kit. So today you got a piece of white cardstock as well as a colored piece of paper. Everybody got a different color. Um, so we're going to use this 
to make our dot art on. So we're gonna use the white paper for the dot art, and we're gonna use this paper to frame our dot art. Um, so to start, we actually need to decide what um, shape we want our art to be in. So since we're doing dot art, I'm gonna make mine a dot shape. So I'm gonna start by cutting out a circle. There, I have my circle. If you're not um, good at freehand cutting, you can also trace a bowl or um, a plate to get that circle shape and then cut it out, okay? And then just to be fun, I'm gonna cut two smaller circles. For these ones, you could cut out the top of a, um, like a mug or a cup. So you could trace one of those. And you could also trace the top of your glue stick to do an even smaller one as long as you end up with a few dots. But remember, this is your art, so you can do this in any shape that you want. If you um, didn't like dots and you decide you like squares or hearts or stars or lines or whatever, um, totally up to you because every artist is unique, right? So you can do whatever you want to do. So now that I've cut out my three uh, dots in three different sizes, so I have a big dot, a medium dot, uh, and a small dot, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue them down to my paper, just like that. I'm gonna use my glue stick, take a second here, and just glue these guys down. Okay, now that I have um, all three of my dots glued down on my paper where I like them, I'm going to cut around them, um, leaving a little bit, like maybe half a centimeter, um, around the edges of my dots and leaving just that little bit of orange border or orange frame. All right, there we go. So I have a really fun looking um, dot, couple dots here with a nice orange frame all the way around the outside of the orange dots. So the next step is to add dots with our markers to the inside in a cool pattern. So I'm gonna do a swirl pattern. So I'm just gonna take my pencil here and really lightly draw a swirl shape that slowly gets closer and closer to the center. And then what I'll do, so I'm doing this very lightly, but then what I'll do is I will erase this line that I just made um, after I use the marker. I'm doing that for each of these guys here. There we go. Then what I'm gonna do is take my markers and I'm going to put dots all over my swirl lines. gradually working my way towards the center. Just putting dots all along the swirl line that I made. But like I said before, you can use absolutely any shapes or patterns or designs you want because you are your own artist. So you can do whatever feels right to you. with some other colors that I like that I think complement um, the orange that I've been using so far. So I'm gonna use some blue and some purple. And I'm just gonna add some other dot um, clumps and uh, groups here.
there you have my very fun, very colorful um, dot art. But we still have one more step. And I encourage you to take your time with this part, with making the dots, and make a lot of dots. Uh, fill up as much space as you can, add lots of really fun patterns and textures, it'll just make it look really cool. But just like in the store, we have to make sure to sign our work. So on the back, I'm gonna sign my name. I'm proud of my dot art. Thanks for watching today's STEAM story video. I'll be back tomorrow for our final day of STEAM stories where we're going to be investigating the M in STEAM mathematics. Bye for now guys, see you tomorrow.